Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be finally doing the swatch pen test. And I have these Hobonichi notebooks. I've already kind of identified or planned out what I want to do. So I have the blue notebook, which is going to be for pens, Tombows, and mild liners. And then the like cream color is going to be for stamp ink, fountain pen ink, and then probably some, I have these fake, fake zig dot markers. I might end up using this in this uh, notebook as well, but I'm not gonna be doing this one until later just because I don't wanna have it just be too busy. So this video is going to be focusing on this notebook which is going to be the pens, Tombow, and mild liner, like I just said. So I've already kind of planned out a little bit of what I want to do. So I have these like little tabs here and the first section is going to be all of my pens. And what I'm gonna end up doing is having the pen name on this column. I'm gonna do the pen name and then kind of highlight over it with the Tombow and then do the same thing, but with the mild liner. Now I know there's gonna be smears because some of these pens are very smear heavy, but that's what I want. I wanna be able to see in a notebook kind of what they look like if I decide to write and then highlight over it. I will go ahead and just kind of caveat though. Over the last 2023, I have gotten very good at highlighting first and then using the pen. So the smearing that you might see on the Tombow and the Mild Liner, I really don't have because I do highlight first and then write over it later. But if you are not that type of person, this is definitely gonna be the video for you. So I have already kind of identified a handful of pages because I want to use this, like I said, for you know multiple years so that way I can just kind of add it to whatever planner I am using. Um, this also is using the Hobonichi Tomoe River paper, so if you have other paper, you're not gonna have the same results. But we have, like I said, the pen swatches, and then we have Tombow, and then what I was going to do is kind of section them out by colors. So we have gray and black, pink and red, yellow and orange, green, blue, purple, brown, and then I have a couple other pages, these two pages that I haven't really identified anything for just because I don't know what other colors I might get. And then we have the mild liners. Now the mild liners, I don't have a lot of, so I did not break them out by color um, because I'm tending to gravitate more toward Tombow versus mild liner. So I don't really have any kind of color breakout for that because if I did, there might only be like one or two colors per page and that just doesn't seem smart. And then we have all of the other pages that I can always add on to. So that is what we're gonna be doing for this video. So if you would like to see kind of how these swatch tests goes on the Tamoy River paper, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, so we're really gonna quickly talk about the pens that I have. Now, if you watched my 2023 or my 2022 video going into 2023 planner season, I had a lot more pens that I did with my swatch test in my 2023 Hobonichi cousin. I have since kind of trimmed down a lot of the pens that I just don't use and I just don't like on the Tamoy River paper, but I do have several pens that I have saved and I want to talk about. So we are going to go ahead and get started. I do have mostly gel pens because that's usually what I gravitate toward, but I did have three ballpoint pens that I wanted to do first. The, this one, the white bodied one, and the Hobonichi one that you got on your 2024 order are essentially the same. So this is a uni jet stream that I got off of Amazon. It has the blue, blah, blah, blah. It has the black, the blue, and the red ink. And it is literally the exact same pen as what you get with the Hobonichi order. So if you did not order from Hobonichi, but you wanted to try out the 
pen that comes with those Hobonichi orders, then I'll link down below the Uni Jet Stream that you can buy off of Amazon. This is the slim white body uh, pen. So we have this. I'll try to link all of the pens down below that you see and all of the Tombows and the mild liners and all that kind of stuff. And then this is the Dr. Grip 4-in-1 or 5-in-1. This actually has a pencil to it along with black, blue, green, and red. And then it has the cap. You can pull this off and there's the pencil. So if you would like a ballpoint pen that also has pencil capabilities, then this is definitely a good choice for you. So we're going to start with the ballpoint pens and then we'll move on to the gel pens just because I don't have a whole lot of these. But we're going to first take off these little sticky notes because I don't need those here. All right, so we'll start with the Dr. Grip and we'll just do the black. And then I think for the highlighter that I'm going to use primarily, I'm going to focus on one of my neutral colors of my Tombow, just because I think that's going to be a better, you'll be able to see the smearing much better with a like neutral colored Tombow. So I think I'm just going to use this N95 Tombow. And then for the mild liner, I'm going to use this gray. So they're kind of the same color palette and it'll give you more of a true indication of what the smearing kind of looks like. So we're going to start with this one and we're going to use just the black just for consistency. And we are going to turn this sideways because I write sideways. So we have the Dr. Grip and this is ballpoint over here. And then this is going to be with the Tombow. I, Dr. Grip, Dr. Grip. I love that. It's amazing. And then we're going to, let me move this out of the way. Okay, so that is the Dr. Grip. Uh, this is definitely not one of my favorite pens. So I like the ballpoint pen, but it's definitely not my go-to. And then we'll do, we're not gonna do the Hobonichi one just because not everyone, you can't like order this from what I, no, I don't think you can order this. So I'm just not going to use this, but know that this pen that I'm going to show you is the same Uni Jet Stream that you get on the Hobonichi order. And we'll go ahead and use this Uni Jet Stream. Okay. And then I will be cleaning these off. So just that way you don't have to worry about them smearing because they were already smeared before. All right, so those are the ballpoint pens, just those two, not a whole lot of those. Okay, and so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna group the pens together by brand, just so that way I'm not like jumping back and forth between like Muji 038 and Muji 5 and then a Sarasa and then going to a Pilot and then going back to a Sarasa. I'm probably going to try to keep them all consistent, like consistent. So we're going to, let me kind of set these up the way that I want them. Okay. All right. So we're going to kind of kick it off with my favorite. This is like my go-to pen with the Tomoy River Paper, and that is the Muji Pens. I have 038 and 0 0.5. I love them both equally. I just, I love the way that they write. They don't smear with like my fingers, like whenever I rub them, they don't smear. And I just, they're just, they, they are my go-to. I have so many of these. I have multiples just on backup waiting to be used once these are dead. So we're going to do Muji 038 first and then we have the Tombow, we have the mount liner. So these <laughs> definitely, oh goodness, so these definitely do not look good but like I said I am a highlight first and then right over it so I'm never really, these are not a problem for me but if you are not like that then this might be a problem for you. And then I'm going to 
clean these off. So now we're going to do the Muji in 0 0.5 which is pretty much going to be the exact same that you're going to see on the 3.8, but you'll get an idea of what it writes like um, with the zero point. Look, I haven't even used this one yet. Let me make sure it writes off the jump. Yeah. Okay. And then with the Tombow, which is going to smear, but still love it. And then we have Mild Liner. So those are the Muji pens. So now we're going to move on to the Sarasa. So I have the Sarasa Kalena, and this is in 0 0.4. We have the Sarasa Clip in 0 0.5. We have the Sarasa Mark-On in 0 0.5. And then we have the Sarasa Dry in 0 0.4. So those are the ones that I have that are from Sarasa. And we will do the Kalena first. Okay. Now we're just going to do the Sarasa clip. And I will say, like, pretty much all of the pens that I have now, they really, they don't really smear touch-wise. So I know that's another thing that people are concerned with. Um, the pens that I have, oh my goodness, they... They don't really do that uh, because I got rid of a lot of my other pens that were very resist or very smearing um, with touch. Now this isn't like a black, a true black. This is like a black with like a green kind of ish undertone. So that's probably why this is turning out kind of red. But the mild liner, and now we'll do the mark on. Now with the mark on, I don't know what it is. I have never had about like a pack of five or six. For some reason, the pack that I have, the mark on, it kind of it skips on the paper. I don't know if this is going to be one of them, um, but I've, I've never been lucky when it comes to the mark on for some reason. This one actually is writing okay, and see, it doesn't really smear touch wise. Okay. And then we have the mild liner. So this one definitely is much better with the smearing than some of the others. It still smeared a little bit, but not nearly as bad as some of the other smearing. And I'll do a close up at the end. So that way you can see them all. Um, up close. All right, and then the last Sarasa I have is Sarasa Dry, and this is in 04. And then we have Tombow Mild Liner. So that is going to be all of these Sarasa ones. And then I have four other pens. We have two of the Friction pens. I have the Friction Clicker in 05. This is the Friction Synergy Clicker in 05. We have the Pilot G2 in 038. This is like everyone's favorite pen ever, I think. And then we also have this last one. This is a Papermate Ink Joint in 07. I got this primarily for work and like working at my desk in the office, but I do have it at home with my other pens. And I just want to show you what this pen would look like. And that is pretty much all of the pens that I keep at my desk that I use on a regular basis. So we will start with the clicker friction or the friction clicker in 05. And this one is a erasable pen. So I, I do like the Pilot Friction line, um, but just be aware that the eraser, it erases because of like heat that is going against the ink. That's what makes it erase. So if you end up using any of the friction pens don't leave your notebook or anything in like the sun because it will the heat will erase the ink from what i've heard it's not happened to me before but you know it erases using heat so it makes sense that it could potentially your ink could dissolve or evaporate in the heat so, so we have the pilot friction and we have the tombow the mild liner so with the Pilot Friction, the Tombow and the Mild Liner, they don't smear, but they do cause the ink to kind of wipe away, I'll say. Um, so that's what this is. 
And now we'll do the Synergy, the Friction Synergy. And this is supposed to be kind of a different type of ink. It's more bold. So I'm just gonna do Pilot Synergy 0.5. And this has the same situation where it kind of erases the ink. Okay. And then we have two more pens. We'll go ahead and do the Pilot G2, and this is in 038. This one will smear um, just because it is more of a, it's a true gel ink. So this one will smear. I, I did all of the other ones, not very smear. Um, they, they, don't, they don't smear as much, but this will definitely smear, as you can see. Which obviously, if it smears with your finger, can you guess what it's going to do with the Pilot or with the Tombow? Make a big mess of your paper. Horrible. Alright, and then the last pen is going to be the Paper Mate Ink Joy in 03, nope. The 07, the G2, and this pen, these two pens are my primarily my work taking pens or my note taking pens for work. Um, so I don't really have to worry about this Tombow or with the Tomoy River paper. So th that's why I use these. They're still in my like pen box, but they're definitely not used on this paper. But if you would like one of these two, just be prepared. <laughs> All right, so this is Papermates Enjoy in 0.7. Looks beautiful, but oh, this actually doesn't smear as much as I thought it was. I thought it was going to smear a lot. I don't use it very often, obviously, on this paper, but that definitely was not what I expected. Have Tombow and Mild Liner. That's actually not as bad as I expected it to be. The G2 was even worse. All right, so these are all of the pens that we swatched. And let's do a quick zoom. Too much. There we go. All right, so we have the first two are ballpoint pens. We have the Dr. Grip ballpoint pen and the Uni Jetstream, which is what Hobonichi will provide in the Hobonichi orders. And then we have all of the gel pens. Like I said, the Muji are like my go-to, but they do obviously smear. We have all of the Sarasa. We have the Sarasa Clip Kalena and the Sarasa Clip, Sarasa Markon, and the Sarasa Dry. If you watch the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, Helen's videos, she likes to use the Sarasa Klena and I think a lot of times she has the Klena in the Sarasa Dry body, if I'm remembering correctly. But she does like the Klena is one of the pens that she does use in a lot of her videos. And then we have the Pilot Friction and the Pilot Synergy. These are the erasable pens that you got to use with caution because they will evaporate with light or with heat. I should say. And then the smearing is not really there. The disconnect between the ink when there is a highlighter on top is because it's taking up the ink, not really smearing it per se. And then we have the Pilot G2 and then a Papermate Ink Joy gel pen. And those obviously smeared pretty significantly. All right, so that is going to be all of the pen swatches for now. I might end up adding to this as the year goes on, as new pens kind of come into my stash. Um, I might do swatches a little bit later for um, those pens. So just make sure you like and subscribe so that way you'll be notified anytime I make new videos um, because that could potentially be coming sometime next year. All right, we are going to put this little um, tab back on so that way I have it for my little page things. All right, so we're going to start with the Tombows now. So we're going to focus on first all of the gray and the blacks. So I, I did not, I have not separated these. So I need to pull out all of my grays and blacks first. We're going to kind of go ahead and get started. I'm going to maybe try to put these in order because I am that person who would do that. The purple can go back. All right, that looks about right. So we are just going to go ahead and start swatching. I might end up speeding through this just for 
you know, I don't really need to write what colors I'm using. So this might be kind of sped up just for your, your ease of watching. So that is all of the Tombows. I did have extra, a uh, few extra pages just in case I picked up any other colors and I needed more space for them. So we are going to move on to the mild liners. Now I do not have that many mild liners as you can see. I only have the these little grouping of mild liners. So I'm not going to break them out by color. I'm just going to grab and then kind of write what their color is. So I'm going to try to be somewhat consistent. So like grays together, browns together, that type of thing. But you know, whatever. So that takes us through pen swatches, Tombow swatches, and mild liner swatches. So really quickly, I'm going to maybe not zoom in so much, but just do one quick flip through so you can see 
one last time everything that we did today. So we have the pen swatch and then we have extra pages in case I need them for later. Then we start with the Tombow. We have black and gray, red and pink, yellow and orange, green, blue, purple, and brown. And then I have an extra page in case I need it. And then we're gonna jump to the mild liners. And then these are all of the mild liners that I have in my possession as of October of 2023. And then I have all of these extra pages that I can add to as my collection evolves. And that way I can account for all of the different pens that I have to use with the Tamoy River paper. So that takes us through this swatch video and make sure that you like and subscribe because I will have another video video coming out where I will be doing all of my stamp ink and my fountain pen ink on the Tamoy River paper as well. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in my next, next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.